Okay, welcome back to my Draconian Necromancer series where I'm against five allied Emperor level AI opponents. This is, I believe, episode five. Um, and again, the thing I'm doing this campaign is I did nothing for the first 20 turns. Uh, and so I gave my allied, I gave my AI opponents a, a very heavy head start. And so we're at turn 32. So this is 12 turns into my own movement, 32 turns into my AIs. And uh, we've got some stuff to talk about. So again, uh, we started my capital uh, is down here. And in terms of what we've built, Harvester's Guild for the growth, um, Shrine for the mana, uh, Laboratory, because I want to go Observatory to expand a little bit. Uh, but I have produced a few uh, reanimators. Uh, some of I left the crushers behind because they suck, along with some cadavers from battles that are being kept alive uh, by this reanimator. So I'm going to keep these guys at home because I don't know, because they've had many turns to uh, get healthy. I don't know if they might come to my capital. So I'm going to keep my capital safe with a standing force like this and just kind of keep them there. Um, I took my bulk of my main army up here first. Uh, I took over this city and building that. Uh, took over this city and I'm building the Embalmer's Guild so I can station a few more cadavers to just hang there and they don't need any backup. In terms of ghouling good units, uh, I was able to pick up a Dread Spider Queen. Uh, let's see where we are in levels. So, uh, what have we picked up? So on my leader, uh, as my uh, Steam Guide talks about, uh, you know, you start with these by default. I picked up Lesser, Drill Curse, Devour, Greater, um, Life Stealing, and Inflict Despair. So those are the things that I picked up and haven't had a chance yet to pick up. Energy Drain, Protection from Light, uh, that sort of stuff that I would ideally like to pick up, but I usually can't afford to. Uh, what about my other here? Oh, and you should see I did summon a Banshee, so I'm starting to pour some experience into them. Already, my reanimator is already on gold. Uh, picked up a, a White Witch that I ghouled, which is handy, and I've already got a Champion 1 cadaver because I just oh, I use them a lot. Picked up that little guy. This was a nice pickup. Uh, this is the ability to web a T3 or Tier 4 unit that you want to eventually ghoul once you're once they're properly prepared with enough stacks of Inflict Despair is really nice. So that's why I picked up this. And I did split my armies about here after taking out this. So my leader's going down here, and my one hero is going out here. I see this. I love their T4 units. I just love these T4 units to be produced. Lords of the Deep are amazing, um, even at the first level, even with no rank ups. They're just amazing at, with their pikeman ability and their. Uh, well, yeah, you'll you'll see. It's going to be great. Um, I've got a banshee here already gold. Um, oh, and this guy's at level nine and has the uh, ghouling uh, ghoul curse um, ability. And so that has been what I used to ghoul these first two things so far. Inflict Ghoul Curse plus Inflict Curse and Protection from Light. And um, yeah, so that's been that's been nice. Level 9 is where the fun starts. I picked up a Priest as a reward from one of the sites. Say, uh, I ghouled this Flamer at some point, and this is also uh, gold rank on there. And then we've got a few more here the second stack. So um, it's going okay. It feels a little bit slow. Uh, I'm thinking with these folks, I'm going to try and head down this way and kind of try and clear out this stuff and try and maybe have these guys eventually move this way. Once I've cleared out this backdrop, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about underground. It feels like a lot to take care of, but these are, guys are definitely going to prioritize going out there. Uh, in terms of what I've researched, I'm working in Shrines of Life currently. Uh, so we picked that up early as a priority so I could produce it. And that's really 
Well, that's in, trying to undone plague where on cities where I know I won't get an army near them for a while. I am doing a good job of transforming to destruction nodes some of these mana nodes for the extra mana and experience. So I've got you know plenty of contenders I can do that to. So that's uh, what I'll be doing there. Uh, what else in terms of items? Nothing, nothing good yet. Nothing good yet in terms of items. Although I will say, I will say, eighty percent spirit protection is amazing, and sixty percent fire protection is pretty good too. So I will take that back. These are these are excellent to help. I mean, eighty percent fire protection and spirit protection this early in the game on uh, a necromancer is is amazing. Is look at look at this Th three different channels almost completely uh, evaded, and so it's it's really nice. Uh, what else? So I did talk about production there. Still have not met my opponents yet. Dark Sun is annoying. Um, so I've got two undead plagues going. I summoned two banshees and I have a lost soul duking around. You can see the array of my forces. Again, crappy cities because I'm not really investing much into them. Uh, and nobody's earned any of these yet, thankfully. So that's where we're at here at the end of turn 32. Oh, hey, we got to yeah, we gotta go over the interesting stuff, don't we? Uh, yeah, so let's, uh, let's take it. We'll go in reverse order here. Okay, that's not interesting. Oh, yeah, I, I really wanted to. It would have been nice to duel some of these. They're not that good, but... It's okay, so I did that. Uh, yep, this is where I ghouled the spider. Uh, I'll show this really briefly, how I uh, kind of prepared the spider for ghouling. Just move in. So you can see how I make sure I can, because I need to inflict enough to spare stacks. There's the first one. I have to inflict enough that I can guarantee the ghoul. We'll, we'll slow it down now. So you, you can see I was just trying to uh, get some debuffs on it. Again, I'm going to try and get some despair stacks. There we go. So already at 100%. See, so it guaranteed the ghoul curse because it was 100% spirit weakness. So that that's how we roll. We just uh, that was it. So that's a common example of how they guarantee a 100% dueling strike. Um, and what else? That was a battle. This was a Loki battle where I picked up a spider. Again, any heroes that are offering to join, I'm not accepting them. Uh, seafaring. That action. What? Is there anything else interesting? This was uh, okay. This was the hardest battle to date. So let's take a peek at how I managed this. This was annoying. Transferring pain and these guys getting up in your face. That is that is some rough stuff to deal with. Let me tell you. So I, I had a plan. I figured I would kill them fast enough before the rest of the people had a chance to catch up. So that guy guard breaks, as does that. And they are attacking the uh, Banshees, which is fine. Double exposure. So now, you know, this sucks that you can't do damage to them because all the damage is transferring to the back, but I figured this was still the best way to approach it. So, very resistant to physical damage, so I'm going to suck up some hits of those units. I was able to kill him off because he was taking so much damage. Got a nice... Then use the uh, cadaver. Okay, that guy's dead, so use the cadaver to suck up and then just re-raise him. Easy peasy. So just took all the, the movement out of those guys. Finally, these guys catch up and attack. But 
this Banshee, because he's only a level two, I can use lesser reanimate undead and reanimate them. I don't even need to use greater reanimate undead. So super convenient. Do whatever you want to my cadavers, it's fine. That was a little scary, but now that the uh, pikes are dead and they don't have the transferring of pain, they'll be easy peasy. Turn them around, raise that with lesser. Easy flanks, lots of massage damage from the despair. Devour corpse to get him back to good health, and we just have to deal with these two folks. This is a little low here, a little uncomfortable with this. It was nice they went on him rather than on him. They could have really done some damage, but I guess they're prioritizing killing the leader. Maybe a little less resistance, no. At any rate, able to devour some corpses, and it's just a clean up from here on out. I'll speed this up. Yep, see, you, that's why the devour corpses is worth its weight in gold. Get up in its face. Yep, yep, yep. I might even kill it here. No, it doesn't. I would have been able to raise it with lesser if I needed to. Yep. Pretty good. So that's that's how I handled that battle. I think that was the that was the only tough battle we have had. Is there anything else? No, yeah, I think that's it. So we're eleven minutes in, longest video yet, but uh, I'll see you in a few turns and hopefully have more interesting stuff to report. Uh, see you in episode six, I think.